on two then of a scheduled 12 for the Commonwealth Lightweight Championship and a good start by the challenger Mo Hussein from East London. Well, the last few contests that Jim Watt and I have seen with Langton Tanago, he's just been able to loaf around for a round or two, but Hussein's not allowing him to do that, Jim. No, well, that's exactly what Hussein must not do, allow Tanago to dictate the pace. Hussein has to keep close, he had no trouble getting into the punching range in the first round, he has to keep doing that, no use throwing punches and ones, he has to put three, two, three and four punches out. They had a good first round, but uh, you can see Tanago's beginning to back off a little bit, get a little space between the two of them where he can do some of his experienced work. Just got to watch that snappy right hand, Jim. He's, he's a bit useful with that, Tanago. It's harder than it appears. Yeah, but the main thing is Hussein's keeping him under pressure. He's, he's forcing him to work, and Tanago doesn't like to do that. He likes to work at his own pace, but Hussein's on him all the time, forcing him to work, and I think uh, we can expect Hussein to last the pace better, as long as you say he doesn't make, make any silly mistakes. Suzanne a training a bit at St Pancras in London and I must say he's been impressive he's really got himself together for this fight as you can see there a minute to go in the second and referee Larry O'Connell from uh, London is able to Got the perimeter of the ring ropes. And just got a little bit unseated a bit there. Good start by Hussein Jim. Yep. He's giving him all sorts of trouble. He's never given him one second to settle in these two rounds. It's an excellent start from Hussein. This is what he has to do. Keep him under pressure, keep punching all the time. No way can Tanago match him for pace or speed. Well, he's got himself sharpened up all right, his own boxing with people like Sylvester Mitty and Terry Marsh. Really good sparring, that makes a great deal of difference. Tanago trains in Yorkshire quite a bit. And a good start then for Mo Hussein. And, uh, on top certainly in the first two rounds. See if he can, uh, can finish it inside. All the better for him, but uh, the way it's going, he could win if it went 12. They can't afford to be careless, Jim, and walk onto one. We've seen Langton peel that right hand off before and stun people. Well, Tanago must realise he's going to have to do something to the study, he's saying. He's got most of it his own way. And uh, Tanago knows, very experienced, he can't match Hussein in this type of fight. So he's going to have to discourage him, land a couple of big punches, and that seems to be what's on his mind. He's trying the right hand. I doubt very much what they would discourage this fellow who's saying he really has got a lot of fire in his belly. And uh, as you can see, they're wearing the, the West Ham colours. And brought quite a sizable fan club from East London to this part of Essex to support Hussein there. Switched well there from body to head. Almost fell over his legs there as the stance changed on Tanago. Oh, just missed with that right hand in. Almost a wind of the punch had Tanago over. Oh, 
trying to throw that right hand back, as I said, the champion there, but it's, it's only one against about a dozen punches coming at him. It's good stuff now from Usain Jim. He's got a good chance of winning this inside the distance. Yeah, this is excellent because uh, he's really having it his own way. Tanago doesn't seem to have the power to hold him off. He doesn't have the power to hurt him. Uh, well, I mean, he's, uh, he's knocking on 40, really, when you think about it. It's a bit old to stop these young guys coming at you. 23, Hussein. He's actually looking his age now because there's nothing he can do with Hussein. This is no good for him whatsoever. And these rounds are taking a lot more out of Tanago than they're taking out of Hussein. I see a little bit of blood in Hussein's eye. I don't think it's anything serious. Yes. He seems to be nicked underneath the right eye. Yeah, he is just below the right eye there. He must have run onto a head there. Well, a runaway round here with Hussein. Well, it's just as well there for Tanaka that he's landed back in his own corner because he certainly took a bit of a pasting in that round. Round six. And it's scheduled for 12 rounds, the Commonwealth Championship at lightweight. That's nine stone, nine pound division. And a really flying start by Hussein then. But surprisingly, although champion Tanago has been cut around both eyes, he came back quite well in the fifth. him before the schoolboy Tanago as he's called and he, he does hang around at the start but once he's learned a lesson or two he, it's, he's a bit dangerous much more dangerous than he appears by build well in this game when you're in your late searches as he is and you pick up a trick or two see so Hussein's taking that little bit longer to get his punches off and Tanago's capitalizing on that he's getting his punches off first now Hussein must keep moving and get the punches off a little bit quicker. He certainly dropped the pace a bit. Yeah, well, oh, there he goes again. I, I said from the start that the right hand's one to watch with Tanago, but uh, it looked as though Hussein had overwhelmed him at one point. Although he's had six 12-round contests, Tanago, so uh, he doesn't worry too much about the distance, or in his case, uh, the contusions and cuts around the eye. That suits Usain if Tanago is going to stand there and trade punches with him. He hasn't got to go looking for him at all. I wish he wouldn't hang his chin out like that, Jim. It's getting a bit dangerous, isn't it? Yeah, he seems making far too many mistakes now. He's far too loose. He's not quite as tight as he was earlier on in the contest. kind of sense the champion saying I think I've got to try and get this over because I may not be able to outstay this little terrier coming at him all the time good punching from Hussein though that was a good left hook from Hussein yeah and the roar of the crowd too that that's uh, a great help. They say you may not hear anything, but I can't believe he can't hear this. And he's really got this tall fella wobbling a bit now. What a game guy he is, the champion. Well, he's, I think he's a bit pleased to hear that, though. It doesn't matter how far he's got to walk back to the corner. And uh, he really is looking his age a little bit there, Jim. I swear he's going grey between rounds, isn't he? Well, that round took an awful lot out of Tenago. He did some of his own best work early, but you can see his time that went on in the round now. He couldn't keep Hussein away. Hussein completely took over in the last half minute or so. 
Yeah, good. That was a good left hook that started the serious trouble. From that point on, Tanago had nothing really to keep Hussein away. A lot of good work came from Hussein after that punch. So round nine. And Hussein's corner in there, Jimmy Tibbs shouting at him, you're losing your concentration now. Get back in there and uh, carry on as you uh, really began this fight. He just uh, lapsed a bit in the middle rounds there. Hussein doesn't need to worry about powerful punches, just keep the punches coming. Well, certainly little Hussein there has found that life can be very tough at the top. He's been on a good winning run and uh, overwhelmed. Uh, a Mexican and an American opponent in recent fights. Well, Tanaga just landed his best punch there, I think, and it doesn't seem to have troubled Hussein too much. That was a perfect right hand he caught Hussein with there. Found a little bit of kidology, Jim, isn't he? Now, thanks him to give himself a bit of room, bit of fainting. Yep, but he's, he's keeping Hussein out of range, popping away with his own long punches. So Hussein's trouble, he only really has one approach. He doesn't have any other ideas. If what he's doing now doesn't work, he can't do anything else. All he can do is move forward and uh, keep throwing punches. And at the moment, it's not working too well for him. There's certainly no way he should try to do any smart boxing against this fellow. He's just too awkward. It's a minute to go in the ninth. And some sharp, long punches coming in there from Tanago as well. Imagine in your first championship crack, Jim, that when you've had such a good start like that, well, you might lose a bit of heart when you realise how tough it's become by this round. Oh, well, good punch from oh, yes. good left hook. Tanago was, oh, another good right hand, yeah. This, this was Tanago's best round until we come towards the end of it. He still absorbs the punch well, though. Well, he certainly can't tell any change of expression on this fellow's face. And he was in trouble as we look at this replay now, Jim. Yeah, a couple of good punches towards the end of the round. There was the left hook, bang on. Tanago in all sorts of trouble, but the old head, the experience, ties Hussein up. There it is from a different angle there. We've got a, a really good close-up there, those double left hooks coming in. That was a real good burst of punches there by Hussein now. And uh, he's definitely ahead on my card. So the 12th and final round there in the formal handshake. And a, a big cheer from the crowd there. A huge Cusane fan club, but I must say being very sporting with the uh, champion show here. No knockdowns, but a fight full of action. Hussein just sort of banged his way through his own bruises, got on with his night's work there. So it could be, I would think now, almost certainly the first time a British fighter has beaten Langton Tanago.
Uh, this is where the old pros hand it to a game loser here, Jim. It's a real way for a champion to go down. He's tried his heart out all the time, hasn't he? Yeah, well, he always does. He's never given a bad show. Always gets himself in shape and uh, gives it his best. But, uh, tonight, he seemed just a little bit too young, a little bit too strong and too much fire. Good show of fighting strength by Hussein too. Oh, it's good stuff now. He stopped him in the last round. It looked to me as though he stopped him there, Jim, but he decided to count over Langton Tanago and he stopped him on the way up. What a performance in the last round by Bill Hussein. Not that I thought he was going to be in trouble on the scorecard but a really champion finish by this lad, the new champion from the heart of London's East End, and the hugs coming there from manager Jimmy Tinks. So the close-up view of the finish now, and he just shoves him off to give himself a bit of punching room there. The left hook just whisked past the chin, and you can see that Tanago's struggling to hang on, and there's the finish coming now. Punches on the turn, absolutely helpless. Referee O'Connell about to fly in, but goes through the formality of the count. 